Hello friends, in this video we will make the complex mercury tetrathiocyanato cobaltate 2. Mercury 2 tetrathiocyanato cobaltate 2 is actually a coordination compound. It has the complex ion of 4 thiocyanate called tetrathiocyanate which is formed when there is an excess of thiocyanate ion. We will see how it is formed in the video. These are the materials required. 2 grams of cobalt 2 chloride, 3 grams of ammonium thiocyanate, 2 grams of mercury 2 chloride and distilled water. Start by taking a small 50 ml round bottom flask and add 2 grams of cobalt 2 chloride into it. Now add 20 ml of distilled water into it to dissolve the salt. The solubility of the compound in water is very high, so it dissolves easily giving a red colored solution. With a glass steering rod, dissolve the compound in it. To this solution, add 3 grams of ammonium thiocyanate. The ammonium thiocyanate should be taken in excess, so the tetrathiocyanate ion will be formed. Cobalt tetrathiocyanate complex formed has a blue color and it is soluble in water and remains in solution. Now the flask is placed in a boiling water bath for 5 minutes. You can see that the blue color is intensified as the cobalt 2 chloride salt on increasing temperature gets a blue color. This along with the tetrathiocyanate of cobalt complex gives the blue color. Meanwhile we prepare a solution of mercury 2 chloride by dissolving 2 grams of mercury 2 chloride in 10 ml of distilled water. Be very careful while handling soluble mercury salt. Now we pour the contents of the round bottom flask to the mercury 2 chloride solution and then mix it well. The glass steering rod that I have has a blue color on it as it was the one I used to mix up the contents of the round bottom flask. On mixing the contents well, we immediately see the color change and a blue precipitate has formed. This is actually the mercury 2 tetrathiocyanato cobaltate 2 crystals precipitating out when there is equilibrium between the cobalt tetrathiocyanate and mercury tetrathiocyanate ions. The solubility of this compound is very low. Allow the beaker to stand for about 30 minutes to ensure complete precipitation. Here you can see the closer look. You can clearly see the minute crystals in it. On keeping the beaker undisturbed for few minutes, the crystals settle down to the bottom of the beaker. After 30 minutes, the contents of the beaker was filtered using a simple filtration method. These are the crystals of the product obtained. It was then placed under the sun for drying and after drying, here we have the final product. It was then transferred to a storage bottle and weighed. The total weight came to about 3.34 grams. Here is one final look of the crystals. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my Patreon supporters who have financially supported me so that I could get the materials required for doing all these experiments. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you loved the contents of this video, do hit the subscribe button and the bell button for notifications. You can also join my discord server, I will put a link to that in the description.